Mr. Edgar Allen Poe. <laughs> Lo! Oh, tis I gale on night within these lonesome latter years. An angel throng, bewinged, bedight in veils, and drowned in tears, sit in a theater to see a play of hopes and fears. While the orchestra breathes fitfully the music of the sphere. <laughs> Mimes, in the form of God on high, mutter and mumble low, and hither and thither fly mere puppets they, who come and go at the bidding of vast formless things that shift the scenery to and fro. <laughs> While flapping from out their condor wings, invisible woe. Whoa! <laughs> that motley drama, oh be sure it shall not be forgotten. <laughs> With its phantom chased forevermore by a crowd that sees it not through a circle that ever returneth into the selfsame spot. <laughs> oh, With much of madness, more of sin, and of course, horror, the soul of the plot. But see, amid this mimic rout, a crawling shape intrude, a blood-red thing that arrives from out this scenic solitude. It rides, it rides, and with mortal pangs, the mimes become its food. Ah! And the angels, of course, saw the sight of vermin things and human gore imbued. Bam! Out are the lights, out all. And over each quivering form, the curtain of funeral pall comes down with the brush of a storm. And the angels, all pallid and wan, uprising, unveiling, affirm that this play is the Tragedy Man with his hero, the Conqueror Worm. Give it up for the Conqueror Worm. <laughs>
our next performer needs no introduction. Jill. Jill. When she was alive. Jill, I need to talk to you. Jill. As I was saying, our next performer, when she was alive, she was at the pinnacle of Blues Mountain. So, without further ado and or uh, interruption, direct from the Inferno by way of Père Lachaise Cemetery in Paris, France, I give you Lily LaRouge. That's not Lily LaRouge, that's our car girl. <laughs> Lily LaRouge. Oh! <laughs> 